guys, so I'm back with a new video and let's talk about choose or die. So I know you might have seen this one already. Um, yeah, I just, you know, it's Easter and I had stuff going on, uh, but I really wanted to review this one because as soon as I watched the trailer, I knew this was my type of film. So even though it has been out for a few days already, I just figured I'm just gonna do it anyway. Um, hopefully you're still interested in my thoughts. Uh, also, I'm sorry if you hear noise outside, but it's super windy and yeah, sometimes it's really loud, so excuse that and i guess let's just get to it so if you don't know what choose or die is about it's about a girl that starts playing a video game in order to get a prize but what she doesn't know is that this game just messes with her real life and obviously this is a horror movie things will get bloody and all of that and yes this is one of those like death games type horror movies like 13 scenes or would you rather or even escape room i think this is quite similar to escape room um so yeah it's in that genre and that's why i just really wanted to review it because i love that like sub genre of horror um Similar to Home Invasion, I really like that subgenre. So, if you have any recommendations, let me know in the comments. So, the main like character, main actress is Ayola Evans. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Uh, but it does have like some big names like Asa Butterfield, Robert England. Even though he's just uh, it's just his voice in the film. And Eddie Marson, hope I'm pronouncing your name right, um, that you might know from a few films. Like his face is really recognizable, he has been in some stuff. Uh, and post that, let's get to my thoughts. So, as you might suspect, I had high expectations for this one, it looked really cool. And because of that, I was a bit let down. I was just expecting more like i wasn't super hyped up but i did want something else out of this in the end it just became one of those like really simple uh similar to escape room 2 uh that things just move pretty quickly and weirdly and yeah it's just weird because I was entertained, yes, and I was interested. I really wanted to know what was going on. But the end was a letdown. And just the whole, like, how they get there is really not as interesting as it could have been and what I thought it would be. One good thing about the film is that it's short, so you're never, like, bored and you're always, like, super engaged and interested in what's going on. But that's the main flaw for me. It's, like, how and why they explain or how they don't explain things. Like, the ending and why things are happening, why the game does this. It's not really well explained and what they do attempt to explain. One, I wasn't a fan of. I just don't like when they give their reason. If you've seen it, you know. Uh, I just think it's really, it's just really cheap. Um, it's just a way out of just giving it a reason, like a more interesting reason. It's like the easy way out, I guess. Uh, but also, I feel like with these video games type of horror movies, the technology is so advanced that they can't really explain what is going on. Uh, so, yeah, they just can't come up with something new, which I think happens a lot nowadays. People just can't 
get to an ending like a proper explanation because it's just hard to explain why stuff is happening and yeah i just wish people could explain things better because that's why i'm really interested in these films one it's like the gore and what the player has to do um that is really interesting but also i want to know why everything is happening and that's why i love those films that i just mentioned before like 13 scenes and would you rather because the explanation it's pretty simple it's people it's people doing this game and that just makes sense <laughs> and when it involves a video game it's just harder <laughs> to explain like a video game that messes with life yeah but that was what got me interested in the film however i just didn't like the execution again as i said it's entertaining it's enjoyable I wasn't bored and I still like had a good time watching it. It's an easy watch, but the ending was really anticlimactic, so I was a bit let down. Post that, let's get to my scores. So overall, I give the film a 3 out of 5. As I said, it's enjoyable, you're entertained and you are invested. It's just how things wrap up that I'm not a fan of. Cinematography, I also give it a 3 out of 5. There's some really interesting like effects and special effects that are, are on the nodes, but because this is about a video game, you can accept that, it's, it's okay. Uh, but apart from that, like I would say it's your standard cinematography. And originality, I give it a 2 out of 5. Um, I don't think it's super original. I think it's pretty similar to other video games type of horror movies. Uh, the explanation wasn't good. And yeah, it's not, not that original. Uh, it's, it's an interesting concept. Uh, again, it's entertaining, but it, it's not that original. So, yeah guys, these are my thoughts on Choose or Die. Unfortunately, not the best. Uh, it's not awful. It just, I've seen a ton of these type of films, so this wasn't surprising. It was just your standard movie. Uh, but maybe you'll like it, so if you have seen it already, let me know in the comments your thoughts. If there's any type of these movies that you enjoy, uh, and that you want to recommend it or you want me to review let me know in the comments i'm always looking for this type of horror movies as i said i love these in home invasion so if you have any recommendations tell me and yeah if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and i'll see you in my next video